Stevenson gets a big win tonight over Aubrey Glenn Clark alongside head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, I want to inform you, uh, you've become a bit of a trendsetter. Uh, we were informed after halftime, uh, area stores completely sold out of all camo shirts. So, boy, I, I got bad news. I'll, I'll find some, though. Don't worry about it. I'll find some. Uh, coach, a lot of times, you know, either way, when a game's lopsided, I'd like to ask you that beyond the result, beyond the score, your feelings about the effort that your team gave tonight? Well, I think they did a good effort. You know, I thought we played really well all around. I think they were ready. They you know, did what we asked them to do. You know, we didn't want to hit home runs. We wanted to hit singles so we can score a lot of goals, and I think we did that. We understood how their zone was going to work. I thought we were real patient. I thought Ryan behind the goal did a really jo good job of being patient, and we knew that we can score goals inside. You know, we just moved the ball and get some easy ones. So they did that. We didn't force anything. I thought we did a really good job. I think we only had like four turnovers at halftime, which is great. You know, I thought we cleared the ball again extremely well. I think we're doing all those little things right so we can get when you get to the couple tougher games as we will uh, next week uh, that we'll be ready to go and I think our guys did a good job I love the effort it's about how we play I just think that yep. I told them early on you know I don't want to see the ball spraying all over the place I don't want to see a lot of uh, dumb decisions I don't want to see a lot of home run passes just everybody play together do the simple things so everybody can be successful it doesn't matter who scores the goals as long as we get it done and I think the, we play with that kind of a mentality we're a lot better team anyone in particular the guys that got those opportunities in the second half there were some first career goals some first career points is there someone maybe that it's worth highlighting like because you're so happy that the work they put in day in and day out they were able to get a moment there in that second half yeah well i think you know i think you know graham and Corey starting to play really well for us doing a really good job getting some good things i think alex wilson is starting to do some really good things for us as a younger guy getting a lot of playing time um you know but uh, i think overall you know just everybody did a good job there you know we did a good job the other faceoff guys that got in did a great job i think um brendan McKe uh, mcneely's doing a great job in there helping us so we got a lot of guys filling in doing some really good things i think and that's really helping us uh, all around so those younger guys are really good and then you know, Colin Dobbins, you know, he didn't do as much tonight, but he's another kid that's playing really well for us, we think is going to help us. And Remington, you know, did a really good job, and he got in there. So we got a lot of good younger guys that are doing some really good things that we're impressed with. Uh, you brought up Josh Brannon tonight. Uh, five goals, he hit 100 for his career. There we've, we go. We've, Let's do it. We've talked a lot awesome. about Josh over the years and the things that he's had to, to, to work through and – uh, what does he mean to you, to this program, to everything that Stevenson Lacrosse is about? Well, he's, you know, first of all, Josh is just such a great kid, and he works so hard. He wants to be successful, and uh, he's obviously um, been a tremendous, tremendously big piece of what we've been here over his time here. So we're tremendously grateful to have him be a part of our program. He's made me better as a person. He's made his teammates better as a person. He's just a great all-around individual, and we're really happy that he's here. And you know, Josh has fought through some things this year. He didn't start out as good as he wanted to. You know, he had to battle with some vertigo and all that kind of stuff, which is always tough. And but it's good for him to get back on track tonight, doing all the little things he did, riding, getting ground balls, you know, that what he did last year. So I think he's getting back into his form, uh, which he's really honest about. But he wants to be successful, and he understands he needs to play well for us to be successful. And uh, I think he's going to do that going forward. But, you know, he's just an overall awesome kid. We're glad he came here, I and mean, he's made me a better person. He's made everybody that he's touched a better person. And, and, he, and it's tremendous what he does with his disability and everything. You don't even know it. He just plays through it, which is awesome. And I mean, people that do that can strive with those kind of things is tremendous. Is, is tremendous. Coach, uh, happy Easter to you and your family. Appreciate it. We'll see you here next Wednesday. Can't wait. Thank you. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. It is next Tuesday. I got to mark that down on my calendar. All right.